As we continue to track the spread of coronavirus in our state, groups pushing to reopen businesses are pointing to the 2017-2018 flu season as a comparison. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley is fact-checking their claims tonight. And Colleen, what have you found? Yes, so Marius, the 2017-2018 uh, flu season here in North Carolina was the deadliest on record. But a health expert I spoke with today said you have to look at just more than the death rate when you're comparing the flu to COVID-19. As the coronavirus continues to spread across North Carolina, so do the calls to reopen the state. We still haven't hit the 2017 influenza numbers. Look it up. On Friday, Reopen NC co-founder Ashley Smith compared the 2017 flu to the current COVID-19 pandemic. So we took a look at the numbers. The state is reporting 64,670 cases of COVID-19 from March 3rd to June 30th. For the season from October 2017 to May 2018, there were 12,396 total flu cases. There have been 1,343 COVID-related deaths, and according to the state data, there were 391 flu-related deaths in the 2017-18 season. That's the highest number reported on record. Another statistic pointed to is the death rate. Former FDA director and Duke health policy expert Dr. Mark McClellan says the fatality rate for COVID-19 has come down. If you look at, well, total number of cases um, as a denominator and number of people who have died, that number looks low compared to many flu outbreaks. The death rate for COVID-19 sits at 2.1%, whereas the 2017-18 flu season death rate is 3.2%. But Dr. McClellan says it's important to look at the entire picture, which he says shows COVID-19 is more difficult to contain, especially without a vaccine. If you look at the total number of people who have been infected, the total burden on the healthcare system, and the total number of deaths this is way, way worse. It's not a, it's not a, 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 at all an even comparison. And if you want to take a closer look at the coronavirus tracking trends here in our state, just download our news app. You can do it right there. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.